Hello everyone, I just want to share my story about how I overcame black magic, voodoo, and all that that was placed upon me and also one of my children. So, um, I was messing with a, a man and um, he's really a warlock or whatever, but he will never admit that. But yeah, I was messing with a man and um, the man ended up being married. Um, just know I have children for him. I'm not going to disclose how many children because, uh, you know, they be watching the videos. But yeah. But anyways, um, oh, excuse my nails, y'all. I'm about to do them. I got my stuff right there. I'm getting ready to do it. Um, but anyways, uh, on June 19th, I want to say. 2019 I was laying in the bed sleeping matter of fact he was laying on side of me and I'm a light sleeper and in my sleep they had a snake and the snake had long dreadlocks and the snake tried to bite me on my face and I got up and when I got up I looked around and he was sleeping I looked at him or whatever I didn't do nothing. I started praying and I lay back down. Well, I ended up telling him about it, about the dream or whatever. And he was like, he didn't know or whatever. But so, um, I got a phone call and the phone call was like, what you have going on with my husband? I was like, your husband, your husband. I don't know what you're talking about, my girl. Cause I don't mess with nobody husband. I'm not no any kind of woman. So I was like, well, who is your husband? I'm not going to say the name she said or whatever. And I was like, I don't even know who that is. Hung up and she called back again. Well, long story short, we ended up talking or whatever. And um, somebody who I thought was my friend. We had, me and this girl had been friends for 14 years. Um, I'm saying, I don't know for sure if it was her. I don't know. I just cut everybody off altogether. But uh, she only one knew, that, knew my baby's name. And um, knew that I was messing with him or whatever. But she had seen the girl, a girl. The girl had a picture of me. And she had a picture of my baby. Well, long story short, the girl was sending it to my phone and all the rest of this stuff. And um, he had texted me all kind of nasty stuff. You dead to me. But mind you, he had called me before that and told me that she was getting ready to call me. So I wasn't entertaining the, the foolishness. So... um. Like I said, she was saying this, she was saying that, blase, blase. So we getting forward, back and forth on the phone. He say, uh, he takes my my phone, said, even if I leave her, uh, I'm not coming to be with you. You dead to me, blase, blase, all the rest of that. So, mind you, I'm laughing because it's funny to me. So, I left. I moved to Florida. The whole time in Florida, I'm talking to him. He calling me blase, all the rest of this foolishness. So, I'm um, sending him cash. Got all my proofs of that. I'm doing all the rest of that stuff. He needs something. He calling me. I'm sending it to him, blase, blase. Because at the end of the day, that's still my dog. And that's my children, daddy. And I'm going to always love him no matter what. I don't, no matter what he has done. But anyway, so... I come back in July. Now, mind you, let me tell you how wrapped up he had me in you. Now, mind you, he takes my phone. He didn't want me. I'm trying to ruin his family, blase, blase. Well, the weekend his sister is getting married. Tell me why me, him, and my son laid up in a room. You know what I mean? So, that's how much, that's how much of a stronghold he had on me. So, we laid up in a room together. All the rest of this foolishness, you know what I'm saying? We there, we doing this, we doing that. All right. Bam. Pregnant again. So, I had got pregnant with twins. I ended up losing my twins, blase, blase. Baby, this this clown. You hear me? Clown. Yeah, he, yeah, he my child father, but he's still a clown. This clown threw in my face how he got her pregnant. I was devastated. You heard me? There was ten swords to my chest. All right. 
So that still ain't nothing. So I end up relocating a little closer. So I'm going to say I end up relocating a little closer. So the first night that I got here, bam, of course he came meet. Of course that's my child father. I'm going to mess with him. Bam, mess with him. Or whatever. So he pulling up, whatever, whatever. Me, him, and my child, we go to a room again on another night. So I'm like, man, Lord, this, this, this gotta stop. This, this gotta stop. Okay, this gotta stop. I gotta leave him alone. All right. So I'm laying down again. The snake bit me, but this time the snake face was his face. Then he called. The phone ring. What you doing or whatever, whatever. Right after he did the stuff, he called me. And I'm like, I ain't doing nothing. So, what do you need? I'm sorry, yeah, that was my daughter texting me something. Okay. So, I was like, I'm not doing nothing. What you need? What you calling my phone for? Okay. So, Blase, time go by, whatever, whatever. So... I moved him out. So he didn't know where I stayed at at the time. Because I was having him meet me somewhere else. Because I didn't want him to know where I was staying at. I can tell you the exact day that the the magic stopped, uh, started falling off of me. And stopped having a hold on me. Um, it was October the 6th. Because I remember the night that it happened. I make my own spiritual bath kits. And do stuff like that. I, I didn't gave him a spiritual bath before. And the last time I seen him, um, I gave him one of my spiritual bath kits that I made. So, mind you, I was taking three spiritual baths a week. I'm, I've always been a prayer. I mean, I'm a prayer warrior. That's something I'm all, that's all, I've always been at. I'm very deep in my prayer. Um, my prayer closet is so real. Like, uh, yeah, so... I was praying, I was saging or whatever, but like I said, October the 6th, uh, 2020 is when the cycle really, really started to break. See, he would do come to me spells, so he would go in, his, go in their bathroom at their house and masturbate and call me in. So he would do call, come to me spells. When I tell you that boy had me wrapped up, tangled up, tied up in him, it was a shame. So I'm talking about I ran into somebody from my past, uh, somebody who like had been after me for like years and years and years. So when I ran into that person, we started communicating. I'm like heavy, like every day, chilling every day, going to eat, doing stuff like that. But at the same time, I had to put up an illusion, you heard me? So every time he came around, I'm crying. I perform, you heard me? I, I had a whole Oscar for this. I perform and acting like I'm mad that he had this baby and everything this else and all the rest of this. So I'm doing all that. I'm cutting up bad, bad, bad. So at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I'm really not tripping, but I'm just making, making him think that the magic's still working because he's steady doing spells on me, trying to see if the stuff's still affecting my money, doing all the rest of this stuff. Listen, this fool was doing wounds, so in case if I slept with somebody else that I wouldn't get pregnant by him, he was doing all kind of stuff to me. So the crazy part about it is this right here. I remember one time me and him, we had this conversation, and he said if the girl was to ever call me to tell her, no, we don't talk, blase, blase, this and this and that. Me not knowing at the time, he was really trying to protect me because he knew who she was. So, while she was doing spells to keep me away from him, he was doing spells to keep me near him. He was doing love magic or whatever. She tried to do mirror magic. She tried to do ugly spells. She tried to do fat spells. She tried to do all kind of stuff on me. Spells to mess with my money. But it ain't none of that was working. So, you know, I had to put up an illusion like this was this and this was that. You know, you're never supposed to expose your hand and let everybody know what you got going on. Anyway, well, I kept putting up the illusion like, you heard me. You did this. You did that. You did. But I'm still skeeting on them. You heard me? So, I'm like, I just kept having to do it. I kept having to do it because I knew it was, it was going to break. You know what I'm saying? I knew the spell was getting off of me. Well, okay, listen. So, I never forget this. In November, they put my baby on the spiritual. They put my baby on their altar. You hear me? They tried to sacrifice my baby in November. I remember the exact same, the exact day it happened. My baby stayed in the ICU for nine days. 
he didn't come up there not one time to see about his own child. That was fine and cool and dandy. I'm not mad at him about that. That's on him and God. He got to stand before God for that. Okay. So when my baby came home from the hospital, of course, he going to come over here. So he came, seen his child or whatever. I skeeted on him and sent him back to his house. All right. So... Um, mind you, I'm still sleeping with him. I'm still, I'm still messing with this clown, still entertaining him or whatever. All right. So I never forget. Um, it was his son's birthday. So I text him to tell his son happy birthday or whatever, whatever. And the next day was my son's birthday. No call, no show. You heard me? He didn't call and wish his baby no happy birthday. No, none of that. So then he holler about, he called me. Did he call me? Yeah, he called me from somebody else's phone. He did call me. It was late, though. It was late, late that night. He called me from somebody else's phone. Said she had broke his phone. I said, yeah, she did that so you couldn't talk to your child. Now, mind you, I don't have no beef with this woman, okay? Well, let me stop lying. Um, I don't have no beef with this woman over the that man, but see, when she messed with my child, that's when the lines was crossed. You heard me? Because guess what? When I had beef with her, I didn't bring her children in it. Shit, hell, I bought her children birthday gifts and everything. If a, if a man want to be honest, but anyways, like I said, um, and then she she got on the phone and say, "Oh yeah, boo, you prayed for me to go on a trip because he took her to the beach or whatever." She was so excited, child. So throw to my face that he brought her to the beach, and I was like, "Boo, I'm happy I can help you and your little babies, baby. I'm happy about that." But anyways, cause I'm petty, you heard me. So, um, we end up like I say, we end up getting into it every time I seen him and got into it or whatever, whatever. So, like I said, when I seen the little baby, I said, "What about your baby?" This not your baby. He said, you don't think so? I know that ain't your baby. So he tried to compare some pictures to my baby. You can't compare no pictures to my baby, boo. Baby, listen. That's not your baby. Trust me. Okay? But anyways, um, long story short, that is, he said that's his baby, and I don't really, I don't really don't care, because I know mine for. So, um, like I said, I kept making them think that the magic would work. Now, listen, he kept. The last time I gave him something was like $1,700. He kept coming. He'd be like, nah, I always caught him. That's my baby daddy. I would never, never listen to me. I never want to see none of my baby daddies down. Like, um, I'm a firm believer that baby daddy and the baby mama should always be a team. And I don't like to use the word baby mama, but at the end of the day, I'm his child mother. But I'm just saying this because that's what some of y'all apply yourself to as a baby mama. I'm his child's mother because I do everything for my child. My child is with me every day. Um, I provide for him when my child is sick. I'm there when my child is hungry. I feed him and all. Blase, blase. He's never done nothing for my child, which that's fine with me. So, like I said, the girl, we end up meeting up, y'all. And me and the girl, we got into it. They call the police or whatever. And like I said, and I said, and I'm going to continue to say it. Because, listen. Y'all, listen to me and listen to me well. I'm going to stand in my truth and speak my truth. The girl fuck with that voodoo. You heard me? She mess with that magic, bro. She do blood spells. She do all that. Girl does this. You heard me? So, I was calling out. She was like, if I was doing uh, voodoo on what it would make. Listen. The girl mess with that magic. You heard me? She didn't put him on to the magic. Listen, he sold me out for some money. You heard me? He sold me out for some money and started doing the magic with her. Listen to me and listen to me well. I know about all this already. So they was trying to shut me up, wanted me to shut up, said all kind of stuff. Listen, even went to try to assassinate my character. But my character always in it live, boo. You heard me? So they went to try to assassinate my character. Talking about me, about my spirituality, how much I pray, and all the rest of this. I was this. Then the girl, then the girl tried to lie and say it was me doing spells. Listen, I don't rock like that. You heard me? My best, my best defense is prayer. Man, I don't care who or what done stuff to me. Like me and this boy was so so uh cool. I shared him about I shared with him about me being molested. I told him about me being abused in my previous relationship. I opened up and told him stuff about my children's father case. Like we read the motion of discovery together. We did all this stuff. We talked about all this stuff and at the end of the day, all the love I showed him, 
That same love I showed him, he took it and stabbed me in my back, my heart, my side, my head. Every which way he can hit me with it, he hit me with it. Everything that I told him, he tried to use it against me. So, now mind you, Chick ain't know me from Adam or Eve. Chick saying all kind of stuff about me. She's trying to get other people to team up with me. He got boo poor baby mamas, you hear me? So, she trying to do all kind of stuff, get team teamed with me. Now, mind you, when I pull up on them... Girl had this girl that with I'm not gonna say her name, but it was her friend. You know what I mean? So mind you, I'm at a grocery store and I see the girlfriend. The girl come up to me running it, telling me all the stuff and I'm saying, Baby, what you ain't gotta tell me nothing I already don't know. Cause I know this already. And it's being exposed. So they wanted me to shut up or whatever. Every time I tell him proof is in the pudding, I got all the stuff written. I'm talking about from our day one text. I got all of the emails printed out. Any di every dime I have given him, all the rest of that stuff. I have everything printed out. Now, mind you, dude was like, uh, oh, you got me wrong. I don't mess with no magic. I don't do none of this. I don't do none of that. Okay, listen. Of course, I'm going to pull cards on my own self. I'm going to find out the truth about my own self. You heard me? I don't care who pull cards on me. You're going to pull whatever you want to pull. I don't care. But, I never pull no cards on him because I didn't even care because I knew man I knew my intuition is on point I knew what I was talking about so um this lady uh that I uh watch so I got a reading and we was talking and I end up we was talking and I said I wanted to know something about my baby daddy which she confirmed everything I knew so I told I told her more. I started telling her stuff, and she was like, "Girl, I see it. I see it all, or whatever." Which I already knew it. Like, listen, I already knew it. I'm an empath. You heard me? I'm an earth angel, and he was a warlock. I'm his yin to his yang. He dark and I'm light, and it got to be balanced out. Well, long story short, let me tell y'all. So my y'all, he said he didn't want me and all the rest of this stuff. Why? My gay homeboy was sleeping on my couch. Child, that fool came over there and act a fool. You hear me? Talking about act a plump fool at my house, baby. Hear my gay homeboy. Matter of fact, my gay homeboy is still to this day talk about me. How about I didn't defend him or do nothing like that? Hey, my gay homeboy scared out of his boots because how he act a fool like that. You don't act a fool behind nobody you don't want. Period. So, right now, at this time, I'm not dealing with him. I don't want to deal with him because, like, you lied. I asked you. I asked you the truth about something, and he didn't tell me the truth. Well, like I said, he continued. He's still doing spells to this day. Like I say, wound spells. I do my own yarn and Um, Like I said, I create my own um products for my spiritual baths and all the rest of that. So he comes over here. He tried to figure out what I have going on to try to put her in a position. See, I'm the type of person that's like, we're two totally different people. Because he used to females that want to be seen, flashy, materialistic. I'm, that's not me. I get excited when you buy me cleaning supplies. I'm not a materialistic person. I would never be a materialistic person. I don't care how much money that I have. I would never be that type of person. Nobody's going to make me be that type of person. Because what's ever in you going to come out you. And I'm not that person. Well, like I say, he kept doing it, kept doing the magic. He's still trying to do the magic now, but it's not working. It's ricocheting back off of me. You know what I mean? It's not even coming near me at all. It's not touching me at all. And that's why I be telling everybody. I tell everybody now. Everybody, like anybody I come across and they tell me they're going through something, I tell them my story to encourage them how I was in love with this man. This man loves me, y'all. Listen to me. He loves me. And it's not him himself because he has a good heart. He's a good person. It's the spirits that attack to him. He got a demonic spirit, a suck of a spirit attached to him. Um... He married a Jezebel. He didn't know it. He he didn't know it at the time. He didn't know none of that. He, the scales was not removed from his eyes. But now he knows. He knows what it is or whatever. And like I said, I'm happy that God allowed me to get myself out of that situation. And I, you know, special shout out to my shorty. Because listen, my shorty was there. 
Shorty kept it real with me. Shorty put the smile back on my face. Shorty took me out of that dark space. You heard me? Shorty gonna protect me by all means necessary. And I'm grateful for Shorty for that. Um, Matter of fact, babe, if you see this, I love you. Yeah, so listen. So, um, like I say, um, he was doing the magic on me. Kept doing the magic on me. I'm talking about kept doing the magic on me. Press, listen. Press, like, jealous, intimidated by my light, my aura. But guess what? I'm not lying. This man told me this just last week. He said, you intimidate a lot of men. You know what I mean? He said, it's on you. You intimidate a lot of men. But like I told him, I'm strong. I'm an alpha female. And it's my aura, man. It's my glow, man. It's my crown. The, the God wanted my crown. He wanted my crown. Listen. The people wanted my crown. They trying to attack me in my dreams. They were trying to do all kind of stuff. Man, I'm too strong man, for that. Then this the crazy part about it. He always tell on himself. That fool came over. He gonna say, "Girl, you strong. Yeah, you know you strong. I ain't lying. You strong, man. You strong minded. You strong will." And I'm saying, keep telling on yourself. Keep every time he come around, he tell on himself. I just be listening. I just be like, yeah, keep telling on yourself. Keep telling on yourself. Like, listen. Like I ain't can't even sit here and lie. Like, um, my friend, she was like, "You crazy." Um, you should put charges on him and all the rest of that. Man, I, I'm a firm believer of you reap what you sow, man. You're going to reap that karma, period. Like, listen, I'm telling you, I was literally caught up on this man bad, like bad. Man, that sex, sex magic had me out of my coop because when I tell you lay the pipe down, lay the pipe down like no other. So he had me so, 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 so caught up in him. I'm talking about it was bad. I was it was bad. I was caught up on him. He, huh, Lord, listen. I'm talking about all in my sleep doing it. Wake me up, <laughs> wake me up out of my sleep. He ain't nowhere around. You hear me? Yeah, it was bad. But like I said, October, it got broken. But like right now. He called me. No, I called him. And we was talking because his child wanted to talk to him. And he was talking to his child or whatever. And he needed something from me. So what I'm going to do? You heard me? I got a heart of gold. Man, listen. I live by love and loyalty. I stand on that. So what I did. Yeah, I'm going to go do what he asked me to do. That's my child's father. No matter what he has done to me, I have no heaven or hell to put him in. You heard me? If anything, I tried to save him. Like, every time he would come mess with me, I would heal him and get the stuff off him. And then he would go right back and mess with her and then get the stuff back on him. Listen, it it hurts me to know that my child's father is going through all that. To know that he is heavy under a spell. To know that um, somebody would want to hurt him. Am I scared? Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared that if he don't get himself out, he's not going to be able to shake that magic. I'm scared that he's going to lose his mind. I'm scared that he's going to end up being sick about the situation. Because I want no harm or danger to come to him. Because at the end of the day, he really is a good person. I think he got caught up in the moment. And he want to be something... You know, when people grow up in poverty, when some people grow up in poverty and they start getting getting special things, they want this lifestyle. And they don't wanna they don't want nobody to know they struggling. They don't want so they they'll be pretending. They'll wear these masks and be like they got it all together. And that's what that's what he did, you know. Like I said, you know, that's what he did. But I saw past all that. When I first met him, he was clean from his head to his toe. None of that impressed me because I saw the real him. I saw the little boy in him that's hurting. You know, I seen it. And I wanted to heal him. I wanted to heal him. I wanted him to be loved the way that I know he's supposed to be loved because he was broken. And 
he knew that. He knew I loved him. He knew I loved him no matter what. And he took advantage of that. He took advantage of my time, my love, my energy. He did all that. Because he would come and get my energy and he would go share it with others. And he would lie to me about it. Like I wasn't in tune with myself. And I, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I allowed him to do it. I left myself open for him to do it. Because, once again, you don't expose who you are. See, he didn't know that I was the prayer warrior. Man, they try to make me depressed. Try to make me... They don't know. Man, I'm... Listen. They didn't know that I love to be by myself. They didn't know I like to be in Herman mode. Listen, my kids will tell you this. I love being in my room with a good book. Some Hallmark Channel. I'm good. I can stay in this house all day. And then move. He didn't know that. So they tried. They tried to make, make me feel like I'm alone. Listen. I'm alone, but I ain't never lonely. Because guess what? My name is Mama in this house. And it is often called, do you hear me, for everything. But he knows that. Yeah, this was the hardest part ever right here. The hardest part about this whole situation is when um, somebody came and told me, like he said, that like, I don't take care of my kids. Oh, I cried. 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 I was like, what? Me of all people? So now, I threw birthday parties inside the house and was sending him pictures. He came every time my kids had something going on at school before COVID. I was active. I was there. I was the president of the PTO. I made it to everything. Look, big and pregnant, wobbling. Every basketball game, every volleyball game, every band practice, everything. I was there. I confronted him about it. He say he ain't never said it. He say he ain't never said it. All right? And it's a crazy, so he had brought this dude to my house and he said the dude was his partner. He said it was his best friend. Now, I already had my suspicions on some stuff, but you know, the best friend came, he, he confirmed some suspicions. Then when I seen the dude again, dude tried to shoot his shot and started telling me all kind of stuff. How, um, he said that my baby wasn't for him and he, I was like, what? And I was like, how? He was like, yeah, that's the same thing I know because your baby looked just like him and all the rest of that. I was like, man, listen, I ain't never been scared of no Dana. We can go take Dana any day, any day. I say, but, you know what I'm saying? I off to go take some Dana. I was ready. He going to tell me. I got still got the proof. He going to tell me. I wish you would. I know who, who, what you got to prove something for. I know who my child is. You know, I know that's my child or whatever. And, like, listen. She know. That I'm loyal to him. Man, loyal to the T. Man, that good. she know this. I'm loyal to him. You heard me? Like, and... Yeah, did he do some effed up stuff? Yeah, he did. But let him, what I said, cast the first stone. You know what I'm saying? He, he did it and I allowed him to do it. So I got to take my fault into the stuff too because I allowed him to play with that magic. I should, I knew I should have had myself protected at all times. I shouldn't even let my guard down, but I did. I let my guard down. I let him in. I did I did all that. So as a woman, I have to take my responsibility for what I did. Yeah, he did the magic on me. Yeah, he tried to hurt me. Yeah, he tried to hurt my son, but at the end of the day, forgive. Yeah, I forgive him, but I ain't gonna never forget that. Never. And that's the reason why me and him could never be back together. Because if I got to throw to his face what he done to me, it's not going to make it. And I'm going to always throw that you got somebody else pregnant for me. Then they got somebody else in line and saying, listen, the crazy part about it is another chick had a baby right after I had a baby for him. And he's still lying about that, thinking that I don't know. And I'm saying, you can't hide about goddamn kids. What are you lying about a baby for? I don't have to take care of it. I just have to make sure my straight to take care. I don't care about none of it. I just want the truth. That's my only thing right there with him. How you say you love somebody and you stand to their face and lie? Like, come on. Where did it do that at? Because all it's going to make me do is resent you. Well, like I say, we always, me and him, we always, like, we get into it. He'll say he can't stand me. He love me. 
But it's favorite thing. That's why I can't stand you. See, that's why I mean you don't talk. That's why I mean you can't get along or whatever. That's why I don't be coming around there. I don't want you to come around there. That's the thing. Like, that literally is the thing. See, because he thought he was the man with the plan. You heard me? But I had to put up a big ass illusion to let him know that I'm 20 steps ahead of you, baby. <laughs> I lead the pack. I promise you this. So, you know, still to this day, girl still checking for me. Girl still doing this all the kind of stuff. She want to know not who my baby fuck. <laughs> she want to know not. Her man know what's going on. But I'm just saying that's hilarious to me because I'm not letting nobody live rent free in my head. I'm not doing it. Ain't no, ain't no way I'm about to be focused on doing no magic on somebody I don't like. Because anyway, that's weak to me. You hear me? That's a weak woman. That's a weak woman that's unhealed some childhood wounds. Some A weak woman that's intimidated by another woman. I tell people this all the time. People can have everything, a mansion, a house, everything they want, a husband, all the rest of this stuff, and still be jealous and intimidated by somebody who don't have none of that stuff, and want that person like, they wanted my life, they wanted my crown, child, they wanted it, they wanted it, they wanted the hidden knowledge I had, they want it, they want all this stuff, they can't have it though, my crown, look, my crown not crooked. It's not it's not none of that. Man, it's it's adjusted on my head and it's just for me. I was like, God, Lord, what do I do? Cause listen, y'all, I'm a fool from the shoulder. I wanted to retaliate so, so bad. So, so bad. But my big mama came to me and told me, You know how to fight this battle. You know how to fight this battle. Child, I went to praying, I went to fasting, I went to praying, I went to fasting, I went to praying, I went to fasting, I went to praying, I went to fasting. Listen. Child, I pray so much till I pray for her. My children, my children pray for her. They pray for her mama, her family. Because she know not what she do. She come from a line of dark witches. She come from a line of voodoo people. That's where she come from. She's been doing this. She's been, been doing this. But she's being exposed, though. And listen. In November, I remember texting him. And he said, let me, let me guess. We made him sick. And I said... Don't worry, you will be exposed. And it's being exposed right now. And they mad. Ah, oh, they mad, they mad, they mad. They mad, they mad, they mad. Especially him. He big mad. But I don't care about him being mad. And the reason why I don't care about him being mad is because I forewarned you. Stop doing that magic on me. Stop playing with me. Stop doing this stuff. They continue to do it, y'all. They continue to do it. And it was nothing. Like, I, I'm not I'm not saving them. I'm not. I'm not saving him. And just like now, he can't come back to me. He can't come back to me. Because when I tell you, y'all, listen. When I tell you, God has sent me to just know God got me. Just know God got me. You hear me? Just know God got me. Just know God got me. Just know. Just know. And listen, y'all, let me let me make y'all laugh about something. Like, I know everybody that's involved in the situation. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't picking with them. I'm still smiling at them. Hey, how you doing? I'm still, you heard? Keeping it cordial with everybody that has something to do with the situation. Because they all going down. When I tell you down, they going to sink faster than the Titanic sink. But they brought that up on they self. You know, they brought it up on his they self. I could call him right now on his phone. He going to answer that phone. I could call him right now. He don't know my number, but I know his. 
I can call him. He's going to answer the phone. We're going to talk. I'm going to say what I got to say. He's going to say what he got to say. And that's that. But I don't call him like that. I don't do nothing like that. When my baby say dad dad, I know he misses his dad dad. So I call him and let him talk to his daddy. Other than that, it's nothing. Like, listen. I'm a woman and I can honestly say this. Y'all don't know how good it feels. It good it feels to be free. That man had me, y'all. Y'all listen. That man had me. That had that man had me in so much of bondage. That man had me. I'm talking about my nose was wide open. He had me. Had me, man. I I didn't been where I wasn't eating. Could barely sleep. Thinking about this man constantly. He had me. God broke me out of that chain. That boy was wrapped around me. You heard me? He was a snake. That snake was wrapped around me. I'm talking about so tight. But God. But God stepped in. He did. He stepped in and he told me. That I was his child. And he couldn't have me. He couldn't have me. The heart wanted it. And you know they say God will give you your heart's desires. And guess what y'all. He is my divine counterpart. He is. I come from his real. He's my divine counterpart. The timing was not right. He's unhealed. He has a lot of work. He's not even trying to do the work. He's not trying to do the work whatsoever. So God told me to come from among them people. I had to come from among that. Because I was under him. I was under him. I'm talking about knowing he was sleeping with other people and I was still messing with him. Putting my listen. I loved this man so much I was willing to put my life in danger. But God kept me. God kept me. They got all kind of rumors going on right now about him. And I don't know if it's true and I don't care. Because nobody ain't never showed me the paperwork. So I don't know. That he had this and he got that. I don't know. But I'm here to say this day. I don't have it. Whatever he got going on. I got a clean bill of health. I've been going to the same doctor since I was 17 years old. I got my medical records right there. I'm just about to switch doctors with my doctor getting ready to retire. And I'm about to switch doctors to where I'm where I'm moving at. And I'm getting away. I'm getting away. I'm getting away. That man taught me a lot of lessons. But most of all, he gave me the best blessings ever. And I'm forever grateful. I'm forever grateful for him for that. Like I said, we were friends. That was my dog. We were friends. We would sit and lay in the bed and talk about all kind of stuff. My kids, y'all. Listen, ladies. Listen to me and listen to me good, ladies. Stop bringing these men around your children if you have no intention to be with these men. I learned that the hard way. Because my children... My children love him. They love him. My son, my son is a prophet. I'm telling you, he got so much of hope, so much of belief in him that he gonna get his stuff together. He pray for him all the time. My kids pray for that man. My kids tell me, Mama, you're not that type of woman. Because when they say something about him, I say, don't say the devil name in my house. And all the rest of that, they tell me, my kids, Mama, you're not that type of woman. That's not even you. You're not that type of woman. You love everybody, Mama. Yeah, he hurt you, but get over that hurt. That's why my kids tell me that all the time. And I tell them I'm not hurt. I'm not mad. I'm not nothing. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in, within myself, though. I'm disappointed within myself because I let my guard down. I do better. Man, I knew I was supposed to say protected. I got I knew I was supposed to protect myself at all times. I didn't do that. I opened myself up 
physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, and spiritually to him. I opened myself up. And he used and abused me. He used his power. He used his authority. He used all that. But he also taught me. He triggered stuff within me. Like childhood wounds that I've been through. Because we both been through. Our story is similar to each other. We both been through the same stuff. So like I say it triggered me. But it, at the same time it healed me. Um, child, listen. Dude, even try to uh, put me down for for another female who got fixed a flat in her butt. Who went go get her butt done and all the rest of this. He tried to put me down, like make me feel like I wasn't that. But I'm the empress. You serious? I'm the empress. And he tried to make me. Like feel like confident or something. Man, listen, Beyonce can't stand on side of me, and that's how I feel. That's what it is. Like, but he tried it. He tried it. Oh yeah, he tried it. He tried it. He tried it. Then with a strong manly face one. You heard me? They pluck halves out their face. Oh man. He tried it. Yeah, he tried it. Uh like I said, a lot of stuff used to bother me. He used to bother me. And I and listen, at first and I used, at first I was crying and I said, God. Why did he choose her over me? I'm crying and stuff like that. I have to tell myself, get out your feelings. Get out your feelings. You ain't tend to click. Get out your feelings. So I'm crying like, why he choose her over me or whatever. And then I thought, he couldn't handle me. He wasn't man enough for me. You hear me? That's why. He wasn't man enough for me. He was a little boy. He still had growing to do. So I was a complete package. He was used to people depending on him for money, asking him for something. I didn't do none of that. I paid my own bills, took care of my own kids, bought my own groceries, and every time he came there, light, gas, water, cable, everything was on and working fine. Anytime he said he wanted to watch something on that TV, slid in the bed and watch whatever he did, it was another time he came and nothing was off over there. He couldn't handle that. I was too intimidated for him. I was too strong for him. He was used to... Uh, the women calling him when they need something and this and that. That wasn't me. That's not my life. It's not going to be my life. He wasn't used to none of that. He wasn't used to none of that. He played games. And like, my new friend now? I already told him. He tried. He tried to play some little foolishness before, but I shut that down and let him know right now. I'm be gone so fast. Cause I I I love sleeping alone. I sleep good at night. You know I, mean? I get my trust me, I get my rest, y'all. I get my rest. My kids can tell you I go to sleep at the drop of a dime. I get my sleep, baby. So I said, I'm not with the games. I'm not with the BS. But I oh I beat that Judas, you hear me? I stumped on that Judas, you hear me? I kept my foot on his neck. I kept my foot on his neck. You hear me? I kept my foot on his neck. My foot still on his neck. It ain't no going back. It ain't no do-overs. It's none of that. Listen. We ain't together this lifetime. We ain't gonna be together next lifetime. I rewrite my story. And the story ain't with him. Ha! <laughs> it ain't with him. It ain't gonna be with him. Oh, trust and believe me. He gonna see this video because he like it. He watching. And how I know he watching, he gonna <laughs> let me tell y'all. How I know he watching, he gonna say, You got a laptop that I can borrow. So I say, No, I'm gonna get you one though. So when I had first did a video in my kitchen with my kids, so he watched that one. And so he always watching me though. Watching me though, you don't want me, but you steady watching me. Passes in front of my house, stalks me, baby. This, this boy stalks me. Passes in front of my house, do the most for what for somebody that you don't want. Double minded, he double minded. You hear me? He don't know what he want. Listen, he loved me so much till it's a shame. 
But I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. He loved both of us. He loved both of us. He really do. Like, real talk, he really do. He loved both of us. He been with her for, for however long or whatever. He loved both of us. He really do. Um. And as a woman, I'm just going to be honest. I just want him and her to be happy, you know? Be happy together. Don't bring me up in y'all conversations. Don't bring me up in y'all mentions. Just be happy, you know? Work on y'all relationship. Work on whatever y'all have to work on. Y'all excuse the noise in the back. That's my baby. Work on whatever y'all have to work on. Um, I wish them nothing but the best, bro. I want to I wanna see them win, bro. Listen. Like... Like I said, they play with my money, they did all kind of stuff. I'm not the type of person to play with them people. I don't do that. That's not who I am. Even though a lot of people telling me, I got a lot of evidence on a lot of stuff, and I could do it, but I'm not. Man, listen. Karma knows everybody's address, and it's going to come. And when they come, it comes. So I don't want to do it. I don't want to be dirty. You know what I'm saying? He had kids. She have kids. I ain't trying to do nothing to hurt them children, bro. No matter what they have done to me. What they have said or whatever. Man, I'm not hurting them kids. I don't care what nobody say. You know, all my, my, my people say I don't want to do nothing. It's because I love them. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, they right. I do love them. But I'm not in love with them. But I love them. I love everybody. Um... But it has nothing to do with it. I'm thinking about them children. You know what I'm saying? Even though, yeah, that's you right. Playing with that magic. They wasn't thinking about their kids. But I'm thinking about the children. Man, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Do unto others as you want them done to you. I've been at a low vibration before. You heard me? When I was out there fighting. Because that's all I used to do is fight all the time. When I was out there fighting, acting a plum fool or whatever. I was in my lower vibration. I ain't never messing no magic. I ain't about to mess with no magic now. Listen, I ain't doing none of that. Because when you know better, you do better. But sometimes some people be doing stuff because that's what they're taught. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a firm believer you have to live. You got to set example. I set examples on how I want my daughters. Yeah, that. I set examples on how I want my daughters to be and how I want my sons to be. I, you know, um... Like I said, I got over my Judas. So anybody who's going through this situation, um, you can get over your Judas too. It was hard. It was hard. But I did it. And I'm standing right here. Look. I'm standing right here. I did it. It was hard though. It was hard. Because Lord knows I loved it, that man. But I'm in love. With someone else. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, it was it was crazy, but I wished him all the best in the world. And he showed me that the best wasn't me. So guess what? I picked up my feelings, picked up my heart, took my yeah. tail and kept it tucking. And I went on about my business like I was supposed to. I have more videos that's coming y'all it's just taking me a little time you know I'll be sleeping and doing all the rest of that it's just taking me a little time you know she ate this stuff so uh, it's just taking a little time but yeah so well I hope you all have a blessed and prosperous day sending you nothing but love and life um yeah so thank you for watching my video Peace.